Midway Tower, Air Coop 99055, Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Uh, Air Coop, Midway, go ahead. When you raise your head, if you are hearing this aircraft and its 140 decibel thunder-like sound, you are most likely seeing a military aircraft that can reach supersonic speeds. The power that enables these aircrafts to reach incredible speed is the turbofan engines with the enormous technology known as low bypass. Turbofan engines are divided into two as high bypass turbofan used in wide body aircraft in aviation and low bypass turbofan engines used in military aircraft. High bypass turbofan engines are used in wide body aircrafts that carry cargo and passengers. These aircrafts cannot reach supersonic speeds. In addition to their high efficiency, these engines are with a high pressure ratio engines. Theoretically, as the fan diameter of these engines increases, their thrust, in other words, their performance increases. Turbofan engines used for military purposes are known as low bypass ratio engines. In these engines, instead of high pressure bypass flow as in high pressure ratio engines, a lower pressure but higher velocity exhaust outlet velocity is obtained inside the engine. In fact, in simpler terms, we can describe aircrafts with high bypass turbofan engines as buses or trucks of the sky and aircraft with low bypass turbofan engines as Formula 1 or sports car. Military aircraft with low bypass turbofan engines are generally designed in an aerodynamic structure to be able to move at speeds between 1 and 3 Mach. Although they are more noisy and have higher fuel consumption compared to engines with high bypass ratio, their ability to reach very high supersonic speeds thanks to the high exhaust gas output speed and afterburner system has paved the way for their use for military purposes. If we examine the intersection of the low bypass ratio engines, we see that they are similar to the high bypass ratio engines in terms of main parts. The biggest difference between both engines is that all of the air taken from the atmosphere is used inside the engine instead of being thrown back into the atmosphere through a bypass channel. In engines with low bypass ratio, the air is divided into two as bypass and core line in the engine. The air passes through the bypass channel is used for cooling and afterburner operation. The air taken from the core line is used for combustion in the combustion chamber. Low bypass turbofan engines used in military aircraft generally consist of 3 stage fan, 9 stage compressor, annular type combustion chamber, three-stage turbine and exhaust part with afterburner. One stage of engine turbine rotates the nine-stage compressor, while the other two stage power the three-stage in the fan section. If we simply look at how the engine works, the atmospheric air drawn into the engine by a three-stage fan is divided into two at the fan outlet. While some air is taken into the core line for combustion, the remaining part is used for cooling the engine along the line extending from the outside of the engine to the exhaust and at the same time for afterburner combustion in the exhaust. In low bypass ratio engines, the magnitude of thrust is directly proportional to the velocity of the gases leaving the exhaust. In this sense, they are also known as jet reaction engines. The exhaust nozzle part of military aircraft engines is movable and moves in a range expressed as open and closed according to the throttle position. By way of the throttle as the engine speed is increased by, the moving exhaust nozzle outlet becomes narrower. With this movement of the exhaust nozzle, it is ensured that the engine thrust is kept at the maximum level due to the velocity of the exhaust gases. This situation continues throughout a certain operating range. What makes military aircraft engines unique from other aircraft is the afterburner system used in the exhaust part of the engine. Afterburner operation is activated by the throttle level by the pilot during takeoff and in-flight emergencies. In this system, a reburning is achieved with the additional fuel given to the exhaust nozzle part. 
However, since the pressure obtained in this section is lower than the pressure in the combustion chamber, the combustion here is less efficient. Engaged afterburner system provides a 30% to 50% increase in engine thrust. The combustion temperature of the environment may reach an average of 1700 Celsius. Although the continuous use of the, this system is the, not a problem in computer games, it is limited in the technical documents of the aircrafts. Afterburner system is a must for military aircraft. It is of vital importance especially in situations such as dogfights in the air. Using this system, the pilot maximizes the speed of the aircraft and try to lock their weapons to their opponents by making sudden maneuvers. In this case, it is always advantageous as the pilot in the back can see the aircraft in front and can forelock their weapons to it. Particularly, aircraft that have to take off from aircraft carriers in a short distance have to use the afterburner system, even though if they get help from the catapult assisted takeoff system. The afterburner system also provides advantages for escape ground to air or air to air missiles as it can increase the aircraft speed to fairly high speeds. Although the afterburner system provides a tremendous increase in thrust to military aircraft, that is significantly increased to aircraft's fuel consumption. For example, an F-22 Raptor can consume 20 tons of fuel in 20 minutes using the afterburner system. In other words, mild military aircraft can stay in the air for up to 2 or 3 hours with full fuel tanks. They can stay in the air for a maximum of 15 or 20 minutes if they use fully afterburner. This situation is seen as a disadvantage in almost every aircraft that uses the afterburner system. In addition to fuel consumption related disadvantages of military aircraft, the afterburner system is caused flight safety problems today. With the newly developed and infrared search and track system, the thermal traces of the aircraft, that is the heat they emitted, have started to be determined. This means that the thermal traces of aircraft using the afterburner system can be easily detected from close distance. In aircraft using the afterburner system, thermal trace surges are the high temperature in the exhaust nozzle of the aircraft and the fuselage temperatures due to high speed friction. Engines with low bypass ratio using the afterburner system have also been used, albeit rarely, in passenger aircraft. The French-British co-production Concords and the Soviet Union made Tupolev 144 pioneering examples in this area. These aircraft, which could reach two max speeds, were removed from service in the early 2000s due to the fact that they were very noisy, needed long runways to take off and land, and could carry very few passengers and cargo. Low bypass engines with afterburner are used as power supplies in many military jet aircraft today. In parallel with the developing technology, especially in the fifth generation aircraft, the engines expressed as three flow engines have begun to emerge. These are engines that have the advantages of high bypass engines and low bypass rate engines. These engines that low thermal traces are more and more common in recent years. If you like my video, please subscribe or click like to support me. See you in new videos.